Yo, what's good YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be going over the Sniper Expert. Basically, they added a lot of new shit, so let's get right into the video. All right, first things first, let's get into the focus skill. The focus skill for the Sniper Expert is the Hunter Instinct. Basically, what it says here is marks up to four enemies within an 80 meter range in front of you for 15 seconds. During this time, you can see the marked enemy's positions through obstacles, so that's kind of OP. Hitting marked target with your weapon deals additional damage. That's pretty good too. Related to skill strength, let's go cool down in one second. Now, this focus skill, to me, in my own opinion, it's not as good as like these other um, focus skills, these other experts, but it is a decent uh, focus skill. All right, so in every focus skill, you can have up to five skills. Now, free to players can basically only unlock three because unless you're willing to spend gold on Vanguard keys, they're actually quite expensive. Fucking 14 for just one new unlock, which I think is worth it, but at the same time, again, they're expensive as shit, so... Uh, free to place, we're only gonna get three. So the first skill I chose was the Wink Link. Basically, hitting a marked target extends the total duration of the visible effect up to two times. Basically, your focus skill, when you hit a target, it just extends more time, so it gives you more time to use your focus skill. And so, it's a decent one. I would unlock it. The next one I chose was the Blockade Shot. Hitting a marked target causes the enemy to halt, reduce movement speed, and unable to roll, bro. That is OP as shit. This is a no-brainer. You have to unlock this. For a certain period, cool down 5 seconds. Again, no-brainer. Unlock this bitch. It's fucking great. Alright, these last three is kind of up to you. Unless you're paid to win, just get all of them. Fuck off. This is for the free to plays out here. So, the one I chose was the range snipe. During the marked duration of the further the tar marked target is, the higher the additional damage received, reaching a maximum damage at 60 meters. Basically, the further away you are, the more damage you do. But at the same time, even if you're even if you're really close to an enemy, it still adds that extra like maybe like one percent of damage, which I don't mind at all. So a no-brainer for me. This is the one I chose, but you could also choose the other two, which I'm gonna go over right now. All right, this next one says assault focus, increase heavy weapon ammo reload speed during the mark duration. Now you might think this is ass, but bro, the sniper only has 18 bullets now, and it's a fucking SVD. So it like you run out of ammo so fucking quick. And the skill stat tier is literally plus 24% reload speed. So that's a shit, I mean, crazy shit amount. So if you're, you know, if you want to hit more shots, this isn't a bad one to go for. And last but not least, we got the combat optimization. Reduces the focus skill required for using the focus skill. Basically, it just reduces the time and that's about it. Um, unlock it if you want. Again, if you're free to play, I wouldn't go for this one. Go for the other... Uh, four but if you're pay to win fuck off by this <laughs> all right let's move on to the talents first things first we got the precision strike this is probably the most important talent out of everything else so first things first upgrade this max this shit out it's a no-brainer increase weakness damage rate when using your main weapon so basically it's not your heavy weapon it increases your main weapon so whatever you're using your shotgun or your ak-47 increases the weakness damage which is headshot damage if you guys haven't noticed and it increases it by literally 26% for level minus, I think level level 9 right here. Level 9 increases fucking 26%. That's mad crazy. And if you're using a shotgun with this, bro, it's a one, one shot in the head. They're fucking done for. Next, we got the weakness exposed. After hitting a weak point with the heavy sniper rifle, the damage of the next shot is increased. Lasting for 15 seconds and stacking up to three fucking times. So, this one, I would max it out. Literally, it gives you more damage. Why the fuck would you not? Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Subdued target. What kind of fucking name? It says here, when maneuvering the tactical car, weapon hits from target deal extra damage. The amount of which is determined by skill strength. So, when your tactical car is deployed, it just, your main weapon just does extra damage. So, that is quite fucking OP. Now, my shit is still at level 1 because I didn't know how OP this skill was until I literally used up all my skill points. But this is definitely my next target that I'm going to upgrade. Stored energy amplification. Now this is one I would definitely max out. It says here increases the maximum damage of the heavy sniper's rifle's charge. Now you might think you don't use charge but you definitely do. Because when you're aiming in literally less than a second it charges up to at least 30. Maybe like 20, 30, 40%. And that extra damage that 80% is going to help a shit ton. And it's just my no brainer fucking max this shit out. Next on the list is the wind chaser. What kind of bro? These fucking names, I swear. Skill description, armor increases when HP drops below 
increases armor literally 105 percent for level nine that is fucking insane max this out basically increases your armor why the fuck would you not want that but it your hp has to drop below 60 so this is basically gonna save your life all right inhibitor bullet now this one i probably wouldn't even upgrade because it says here heavy sniper rifle inflicts a debuff from the target reducing healing received for 15 seconds and there's a cooldown of 20 seconds now if you guys look at this stat right healing reduction 50 percent first of all healing reduction is probably not that great because there's a there's always a fucking healer on the team that can just fucking instant heal them and level two only gives literally one percent extra healing reduction so what the fuck is the point of upgrading this just level it up to just yeah level one and then leave it the fuck alone here comes another overpowered one armor killer level eight heavy sniper rifle deals extra damage based on the skill strength to targets with armor above zero cooldown 10 seconds and look at this fucking stat bro extra damage plus 1237 for level eight and every single level you upgrade it's like an extra 200 fucking damage so if you guys can't fucking read um basically gives you more damage for your sniper when they have armor on bam that that's a no-brainer max this shit out fucking past level eight if it's fucking even possible but we gotta wait till 104 for level nine all right this next one is kind of ass high energy b battery increases the tactical car enemy search time and slow effect on duration so now the thing i don't like about like longer search time or longer deployment it's because it takes longer to get them back and then deploy them again just kind of like the drone that's why i never upgrade drone duration it just sucks i don't like it i want to be able to just take it back quick into my backpack and then deploy it later on you know if that even makes any sense but yeah this one level one and then leave it the fuck alone because that slow duration that's kind of actually great but the search time i don't fucking like that this one is actually kind of up to you Den detonator so when you're using a tactical car it just explodes it says here when the tactical car is destroyed it deals explosion damage based on the skill strength if a control target is defeated during the control period the car cooldown time is reduced cooldown 20 seconds bam that's pretty cool i guess explosion damage actually done the shit does a shit ton and then the cooldown reduction is only 10 percent but yeah this one's really up to you i only leveled it up to level one and i just left it alone okay hazard dodging when taking damage movement speed increases energy drain from sprinting and rolling is reduced cooldown time is decreased max for 10 seconds cooldown 30 seconds so basically this one is actually quite great in my opinion but i know some people just don't do mobility for some reason like you guys just shoot and just stand there and shoot how the fuck do you even play i don't know but basically whenever you're getting shot you can use this um skill to like get the fuck out of there you know go find some cover or if you're in a 1v1 situation maybe even 1v2 um this will give you more mobility so you can move around way faster and your energy drains um slower so you can you know roll around fucking hop around and then maybe win that fight but i personally love this and you gotta wait till level 106 to even level it up to level 6 defense destruction this one was kind of like the old expertise and the sniper basically just when you hit a, a weak point your armor piercing increases this one i think it gives you less than the one before but it's it's still great so i would max this out it stacks up to three times instead of five so yeah bam and last but not least advantages advantages what the fuck advantages range main weapon deals extra damage based on skill strength to targets more than 10 meters away cooldown five seconds i would max this out basically 10 meters is not that much and you get a shit ton amount of fucking extra damage so in the update now every single expertise has a free drone that you can get it's automatic s tier so go and fucking get it if you have it already but for the expertise um for the sniper expertise it has the ls 17 longbow to be honest with you guys i think the drone for the sniper expertise is probably the most trash one <laughs> out of all of them because i know the um healing expert the, it heals the drone heals basically and then the armor one i mean the shield shield expertise it gives you literally it gives you fucking shield when you're running when you're running low on hp and that shit is op as shit but this one all it does is fucking attack now i'm not gonna go over it because it's kind of ass after two second charge the ls longbow fires it pause at the target who the fuck cares about that basically it's just an attack drone and that's about it it does literally nothing else but i guess it helps and it gives you rating so cool 
well that's gonna wrap up the video i think i went over everything with the sniper expertise i hope you guys had a great christmas but as always i fucking love you guys i hope i hope you guys have a great day great afternoon great evening or wherever the fuck you are peace out